derivative of the following. So, well, derivative, but take the limit. So if you look here, uh, if we plug in zero for x, we get sine of a times zero over sine of b times zero. So this is basically just the sine of zero over the sine of zero. Well, the sine of zero is just equal to zero over zero. This is an indeterminate, and because of that, we cannot uh, be definitive about what the limit actually is. It can't be just zero in this instance. You'd have to have something on the bottom different from the top. Um, but you can have zero. Well, zero in the denominator only works if you got zero on top. All right, so anyway, we want to use L. Hapital's rule, take the derivative of the top separate from the derivative on the bottom. So two, treat them as two separate entities. So when we do that, um, what we do is we, we take the derivative, take derivative of the inside. So derivative of x is just one. So we get a um, cosine of uh, ax times a, or excuse me, b times the cosine. All right, and then apply x, uh, as x approaches zero. So we get a times the cosine of a times zero. Well, anything times zero is just zero. And then b times the cosine of b times zero, and anything times zero is zero. So, um, this is the cosine of zero, which is just equal to one. So we get a times one over b times one. And it's just equal to a over, a over, a over b. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you taking the time to watch, and you have yourself a great day.